Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Tengoku. I'm your host, Lindsay. And I'm David. And we've got, as you can see, the Keyblade with us again today. But unfortunately, we can't give it away just yet. Uh, we'll tell you more about that later. And stay tuned for information at the end of the episode on how you can enter to win the Parfum Asuka Shikinomi Langley. That is a long name. And we'll tell you about the Keyblade and uh, when we'll announce the winner at the end of the episode. Okay. Today's star of the show is Parfum Asuka Shikinami Langley, and she's here with uh, Ray. Ayanami Ray as well. So we've done like Nendroids on the show, we've done Figma, but we've never done a Parfum. And these are by Fat Company, um, which is kind of like, how do you say, Good Smile also distributes them, so yeah. they're kind of all grouped together, Good Smile and Max Factory and Fat and a few others, like Aquamarine as well. But yeah, so yeah. I really wanted to look at this because not only have we never done one before, but I also just think they're really cute designs. And Ray, or Asuka's in particular, Ray and Asuka's in particular, um, look great together. And yeah. I want to take a closer look. Okay, so here is Asuka in her box. Uh, let's take a quick look at that. As you can see, it's kind of a simple uh, brown color, um, but there are some nice shiny... shiny Images effects. on the back and sides. I always used to like doing this with Harry Potter books where you can... Oh yeah. <laughs> Same type of thing. So nothing much to it, so let's take a look inside. Alright, so there she is inside the plastic. Let's open it up. Very nice. Lots Bye. of protective plastic around her joints. Come here. Look at this. It's even got protective plastic for the little baby doll thing. <laughs> That's cute. I'm going to throttle her. <laughs> so, um, as you guys have probably noticed, because um, I said her name earlier, this is not Asuka Langley Soryu uh, from the original, you know, 26 episode anime series. This is Asuka Legless. Shikinami Legless. Langley <laughs> from the uh, rebuild of Evangelion movies. So she's slightly different, including the doll. Um, the original Asuka, I think, had a different doll. There are tons of plastic between these yeah. joints. I mean, like, good good on you guys, but... Uh, but come on, we're, we're trying to film here, you know? <laughs> oh, between the cheeks. Oh, I know that feeling. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Wedgie. We don't want to get plastic stuck around the joint. Oh God, why? That one came out easier. And under the bust. All right, so the first thing I notice after taking her out is of course the shiny suit. Looks really nice. It looks really good. And I love her hair. There's a lot of detail in the hair for just a, a smaller action figure. Yeah, multi-tonal. It's actually bringing it out a lot better than I expected on the camera. It looks yeah, pretty good. The shading and highlighting are really nice. Uh, her hair clips are shiny too. Take a look at her up close. Her face sculpt is also really cute. She's slightly, you know, bigger in, in scale than like a typical Nendroid. Of yeah. course, it is non-scale, but just not as chibified. Yeah, her head's definitely big. I think, as far as I can see, it's in a bigger proportion to the rest of her. Do you think they've made the head a little bit, bit bigger? Oh, of course, sure. Like she, instead of being like a full chibi, she's yeah. like a half size. With a big ass. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So she does not come with many accessories, but let's take a one look at those real quick. One of them is the little baby doll. Baby doll. Wonder if you can uh, make her be able to hold that. So she has two optional expressions aside from her standard one. So I'll probably change her to the smiling one in a sec. Um. And she also comes with a base, which is good because there's no way with those tiny legs of hers that she can stand up on her own. Challenge accepted. No, yeah, true. Way too top heavy. Can we do it even if we do it like it? <laughs> no. Head joint can look pretty much any direction. Shoulders, very good. Ball joints there. 
Um, elbows also can be moved 90 degrees. Not back though, just forward. And there's also a joint on the uh, hands. In fact, this is very maneuverable. You can see I can get her to do quite a lot of things. Under the bust as well, just to swivel left and right. Not up and down though. And then the hip joints are quite maneuverable. Oh look, and her ponytails. Uh, oh wow, even that. Sorry, I, I didn't ponytails. see that. I did that a, a last week too. I called them ponytails instead of pigtails. Her pigtails can rotate a bit, so you can kind of show motion if you like. What about her feet? Can the feet move? Yes, they can. Well, at the ankles. All right, so cool. let's talk about the base for a second. Um, so it's a triangle base, and as you can see, there's four holes on the three sides, and those are four connectors. So if you want to connect her base to raise, you can just use one of oh, these connector cool. pieces and easily uh, have them I'll fold together. Just show you what that looks like there. There you go. And it just comes with a standard kind of uh, posable arm, and then this goes into her back, and then you can put it into whichever one of these holes on the base works best for you. Hey, look, they've even got a block face. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> that's pretty creepy. Okay, we're going to change out the... So this is the original, the one that comes originally with it. Um, as you can see there, very cute. Cheek, bulgy cheeks. Yes, and now That's a hamster face. <laughs> hamster face? Yeah. You ever had so a hamster? Show them how to do it on oh, the right, camera. Oh, right, yeah, sure. Okay, so... Uh, Take off the bangs. Slide in the face. Very wait, similar... Wait, let's do the, the shouty face. I like that one. Very similar to a Nendroid. You just take off the bangs, put in the face, and, and then put them back on. Put on the hair. Very simple. Done. Oh, she's she's quite cute there. <laughs> now, uh, can you stick her onto this? So it just fits in the back, like with many good smile figures. Yeah, of course. It, I mean, this is Fat Company, but. Well, yeah. The parent company is from. It's good smile. The trick right? is to wiggle it in if it's tight. And it is tight. So it's very sturdy, as you can see. These just pop out. There we go. So the... <laughs> She's doing like a Matrix move right there. <laughs> so the arm is super tight. So it can easily hold midair poses if you want to show her jumping. I'm not sure what she's doing here. Some type of dance move. And let's just... We're not going to take these out, but... Uh, there are also four different hand types, um, pointing and holding, looks like it's Yeah, so she the, can hold the doll. The doll, yeah. That's quite nice. Um, so I should mention, um, another thing that's kind of special about this series is that it's a co-development uh, between the garage kit dealer Ryunyun Te Tuna Kanshi. This is a collab work between uh, the two companies. So that guy makes garage kits and basically the company has adapted his garage kits to be made into these action figures. So that's really cool. Yeah. She's so easy to pose. Yeah, um, it's, it's really I also good. should note that it rotates. Um, so it, aside from just the hip joint, this second joint right here that just can come off and on, um, is just a peg, which means you can rotate yeah. it any way you want. So I guess the angle's done by the hip, and then this is just yeah, which, circular Yeah, which motion. way it's facing. Yeah. So that makes it really easy to pose. So there we have it. Three different faces, one doll, another two pairs of hands, and, you know, a very cool stand. There you go. Ask Langley. Thank you.
So that was the adorable Parfum Aska Langley. I'm not going to say the whole name this time. <laughs> and make sure you uh, also check out Ray because you can have them as a cool pair. Yeah. So, um, we promised you we'd talk about the Keyblade. Let's get to that first. So, <laughs> the date we're filming this is the date that the episode for this is going, going live. Up. So we don't have time to look at your comments, so unfortunately we can't announce a winner today. So stay tuned for that next time. But but like what a coincidence. Like we did this right before E3. We filmed this right before yeah, E3. And now, and now they announced the out. date for the game well, next January 2019. And um, So that's really exciting. The only thing is you have to have a PS4. And I don't have one. Meh. It's time. Time to buy every <laughs> single console. Ooh. So yeah, everyone. I need the Switch still. I need the PS4 still. And the Xbox. Yeah. The Xbox doesn't exist in Japan. Even yeah, though I actually not a have thing one. At all. I'm one of the 10 people who has one. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so how can they win Parfum Ask a Langley? Well, if you comment on hobbylink.tv on this episode, episode 56. Seven. Probably. 57. <laughs> it's the links down there. And, um,. You comment, and we'll choose one comment at random, and you will win the Parfum Aska. Yeah, so be sure to enter. She's super cute, and uh, she'll look great in your collection. And remember, as the box says, Parfum bring you a happiest moment. <laughs> there you go. Certainly does. Okay, well, we'll catch you next time yep. with more figure goodness. Yes, so remember to like and subscribe. And, uh, oh, I and really forgot. Where can you find us? Though? I was going to say, don't leave me hanging, Hun. man. So <laughs> you can also find us on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. And links to all of those are on hlj.com. Cool. Yep. Thank you. So, and see you next time. See ya.